Hello, and welcome to SwitchCast, our virtual concept to help keep the energy community connected. Switch is a fun, fast-paced, volunteer-run event for sharing ideas and innovations through informative talks. Our mission is to advance thought leadership and to motivate change for the responsible use of resources. SwitchCast was designed to keep the community engaged from the safety of our own homes. Presentations are in the Pecha Kucha style, where speakers have just 15 seconds per slide to inspire the audience with their topic. While we can't host in-person events at this time, we want you to know that Switch's passion and connection to the community has never been stronger. Thank you for your support, and we hope you enjoy SwitchCast. Hi there, I'm William, and this is EV Match. Now, before you get ahead of yourselves, no, we're not a dating app, but we do connect people. We're a peer-to-peer -peer network that connects drivers of electric vehicles, or EVs, with places to charge. So who does this benefit? Tesla drivers, for one, along with drivers of every other EV model. Vehicles like this Tesla have zero tailpipe emissions, so they will play a crucial role in our fight against climate change and air pollution. These are the vehicles of the future. But consider this. How terrible is it to see the low battery warning pop up on your phone? But instead of on your phone, imagine if it popped up on your car dashboard. Most EV drivers today have the luxury of home charging, so it's easy to solve the low battery problem. In fact, more than 80% of all EV charging currently happens at home. It doesn't get any easier than pulling into your driveway at the end of a long day, plugging in and waking up refreshed and ready with a fully charged battery. It's even easier and cheaper than going to the gas station. But what if you live in one of these? More than 40% of Americans rent or live in apartments, condos, or another type of multi-unit dwelling. The vast majority of these buildings are not equipped with charging infrastructure to charge electric cars. Did I mention this is a big problem? 40 million Americans are considering buying an EV for their next car, especially millennials, who it just so happens are also more likely to rent or live in apartments. Some people say, why don't apartment dwellers just charge at the public stations around town? Well, some do, but those are typically early EV adopters. If we want EVs to become mainstream, we need to make owning them as easy, if not easier, than owning gas cars, and convenient charging is key. Currently, the EV industry and public sector are investing money and time in expensive pu public charging projects. In fact, these tr this trajectory will require a whopping $6 billion investment. There has to be a smarter way. EVmatch's peer-to-peer -peer model of charging opens up private chargers for public use and has the potential to create 20 times more charging infrastructure at a fraction of the cost. We're applying this peer-to-peer -peer model at multi-unit dwellings as well. Let me show you exactly how it works. EVmatch works with multi-unit dwellings to install as many charging stations as they need. We help building owners and managers find electricians and manage the project from the very beginning to the very end. We have integrated our software with the NLX Juicebox Level 2 charging station. This station easily connects a Wi-Fi network so that owners can control station access, provide accurate pricing, and monitor electricity usage, among other data reporting functions. Instead of using expensive cellular data plans, our solution enables multi-unit dwellings to connect their Juicebox station to a Wi-Fi network so they can save money. How much money? 30 to 60% compared to other options in the market. Once stations are installed, owners can host them on evmatch.com and the evmatch mobile apps. They make a host listing and set their desired price and availability, like 24 cents per kilowatt hour, available 24 seven. Hosts can also use our advanced grouping feature that leverages both access codes and idle fees so that stations are efficiently shared among multiple EV drivers. This feature can also be used at commercial locations like workplaces and hotels. The EVmatch grouping feature allows station owners to customize exactly who has access to their stations. For example, a property manager can make a tenants group so the stations are available to tenants 24 seven for 24 cents per kilowatt hour. If she wants to offer a station access to the public, the host can restrict availability to a set time like weekends only, and set a higher price, like 50 cents a kilowatt hour. Thus, we can increase public charging options while also providing a revenue stream to hosts. Once the station is operational, EV drivers can reserve and pay for charging sessions with a few quick clicks on our app. When you combine our peer-to-peer -peer charging network, affordable smart hardware, and advanced software, 
we can help utilities, municipalities, and businesses expand charging for both smaller communities, like apartments or workplaces, and the general public. Multi-unit dwellings are the most logical place to expand charging, though, because home charging is one of the keys to encouraging widespread EV adoption. Our current customers have shown that multi-unit dwellings and commercial locations can earn a profit of about $1,200 per station annually. They can also recoup all electricity costs and attract high-value tenants. At EVmatch, we're employing an innovative peer-to-peer -peer model to increase EV charging access for everyone. If you want to add affordable charging to your multi-unit dwelling or business, we're here to help. Again, my name is William Truesdell. Thank you.